Hi, I'm Fleming Bo Jensen. I'm a music photographer and I've been photographing music, concert, festivals, nightclubs and everything in the music industry with 44 Max cameras since 2012. And I'm going to show you what happens when you bring the GFX100 to one of the largest festivals in the world. So when you're familiar with X cameras, the, uh, the menu system and everything on the GFX is incredibly easy. I literally made this image on stage with the band The Minds of 99, 10 minutes after picking up the camera from Footyfilm Nordic. And I just put a strap on it, I slung it over my shoulder, I brought it on stage, I started shooting and I just treated it like my X-T3. And that's how I wanted to test it. I just wanted to use it and see, can I actually use this as a, you know, as a normal camera. So after this gig with Mice 99, I brought it to the Roskilde Festival. It's one of the largest in the world, 130,000 people in attendance over seven days. It's the perfect place to test the GFX100 in all kinds of condition. And we were treated to all kinds of conditions this year. We had uh, sun, uh, wind, rain, loads of rain. It's a festival, right? It's got to rain. Yeah, we had cold, we had heat, we had dust, a crowd, uh, beer spilled on it. I used it in crowded photo pits. I used it in amongst the crowd. I used it on stage. And the thing about it is it just performed. It just worked. There was not one glitch ever. So I chose three or four concepts at the festival, so I just used the GFX100 exclusively. And the thing is, the autofocus works. You can stand there in a photo pit and you can autofocus, you can even use continuous focus. It's kind of insane that you're standing there with a medium format camera and I'm just treating it like, a nit like it's an X-T3. I was really curious about the high ISO performance. And it turned out that it is rather amazing. It is actually better than the X-T3. I mean, a lot of these concerts are really dark and you have to go high ISO and I don't mind that at all. But the, uh, the GFX100, high ISO on the GFX100 is 12,800. It's beautiful. It has a nice grain to it, but the colors and everything is just fantastic. And I really enjoyed using the GFX100 with the wide angle lenses because now you have all this definition. You have this incredible clarity and definition in the tiniest details. So you can allow yourself to step back and make some massive panoramas and you still have this amazing amount of details in the picture, even if all the subjects are rather small. That is just it's just mind blowing to me. And I, I love shooting wide angle as it is. And this just, that's pretty much what I used. I used the GFX100 a lot with wide angles. Now, all of these pixels, of course, it's fun to zoom in and out and the details are incredible. But I mean, it's not for Instagram, right? You don't need 102 pixels to peep on a phone or a laptop. You want to make prints or books and preferably large prints. So I took a little trip down to my friend Peter, who is the best printer in Denmark, and have him make this incredible print. Now this little experiment of bringing the GFX100 to a music festival, I must admit went a lot easier and a lot better than I thought. It is incredible versatile camera and you can definitely use it at a festival in low light, with stage light, with people moving, with autofocus and everything. It completely works in all these situations. I wouldn't, I wouldn't replace my X-T3, that's still my preferred camera. It's obviously uh, still so much uh, faster and I do love uh, compact cameras. But I mean, looking at those wide angle shots, I'm kind of thinking I wouldn't mind some kind of GFX hanging on, you know, a shoulder or in my bag as a supplementary camera on these uh, festivals because you can just make things, make panoramas, make images that is just, that, you know, nothing else can make.